Hey, how's it going everyone? This is TNT and we're back again at Plants Valheim. So I kind of uh, spruced up this house here. As you can see, I used the repair function on the hammer. Now, one thing I kind of didn't explain last time is that you can actually see how much damage is done. So, kind of hard to see here because I think I repaired this entire thing. But uh, that little yellow bar. So if that's, right now as you can see it's full. If that goes down at all, that'll kind of show you that uh, it needs to be repaired. Which is pretty neat. Um, in between episodes, I kind of worked on getting this all together. Oh, there was an issue I was having with this, uh, these walls where they weren't lining up. I don't know if you remember it from the last episode. So what, it looks like the, so this actual structure, typically if you're to snap something to the, uh, the panels here that come down, the thatch roofing, uh, it goes about middle of it. But with this design on this house, these actually sit at an even level. So that's why it wasn't lining up. So I actually, uh, I changed it and I lined it up with these bottom ones and it seemed to work out all right. I finished the chimney here as you can see so the smoke will come out of there and the reason you want that is that actually if you have rain it'll rain down on your fire and put it out so having it like this to have a kind of a roof over it helps with that and it kind of vents out. Now another thing too is that you don't want to have this in your house and cap it off because the smoke inhalation will actually uh, damage you. Um, so if I was to like cap that off right now the smoke would come in here and it'd start to, to kill me. I don't want to worry about that. Uh, other things I did here, I actually uh, kind of organized a little bit and, and uh, got some chest in here. So I got, this is kind of my uh, trader stuff. I think we found this last time. So this is for the trader. Got some board trophies in here and some uh, other tools that I found. Oh, rested comfort for, okay. So I'll kind of explain the comfort bonus. So if you can see up at the top of the screen here, this rested for 11 minutes. So this actually, if you go into um, your menu here, and go into your buffs effects so i'm near warm near a cozy fire i'm sheltered but i'm resting so i currently have a rested bonus um and let's see you're currently resting health and stamina reduction are significantly higher so i have plus 200 health regen plus 300 stamina that's when you're resting now once you feel rested so like if i was to leave here and i don't have that resting anymore i just have the rested bonus as you can see at the top that starts to run down now if i was to go back to those Settings there, I have plus 50% health regeneration and plus 100 stamina regen. So really, really good effects to have. And you always kind of want to have that rested buff on you there. I think what we're going to do, though, starting out here is I'm actually going to gather some more resources. But first, what I want to do is kind of do a, a little bit of crafting with you guys. So I'm going to show you what what there is uh, as far as crafting goes. Did get a little bit of food here. So we got some uh, raspberries. We got some necktail. Some raw meat and I actually got that I got a queen bee from whenever that I, I took on that uh, that beehive so this will actually allow me to make my own beehive so I'm actually gonna do that as well we're gonna craft that up I did end up killing some deer so typically I kill deer, kill deer with uh, with bows but I actually snuck up behind one and uh, hit him and he went down so I was able to get four deer hide a little bit of resin there and uh, what else do we need some wood yeah I gathered some wood too went and chopped down a bunch of trees so Got lots of wood here. And last, let's see, stone and flint. I'm gonna need that too. Hopefully this doesn't put us over. Okay. It can only carry three hundred weight. And as you can see, I don't have really a lot on me and I'm already getting pretty close. So definitely something to kind of keep an eye on there. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, so you can't actually use this workbench because you have roof on it. So right now we have a roof. And kind of show you, I don't know if I showed you that last time, but if I was to put one out here, And go up to it. You see, I can't actually use it, so we have to go in here where there's a roof, and we can use it. So here, you can see I can repair, and I can actually make some stuff. So actually, what I want to do is I want to make the flint axe. One of the first things I want to make to replace the axe that I have. I want to make a hoe, and I'll show you guys what this does in a minute. This is really good. I want to make a crude bow. And I want to make a wooden shield. Now, when you make a shield, it's very important that whenever you go to make this, click style. And you can change your style here. I'm going to go with the white and red one. I kind of like that style. And if you do that before you craft it, you'll actually get that style. We'll go ahead and craft that uh, wooden bow up here. Or, I'm sorry, wooden shield. Get that going. And other than that, the flint knife, I will probably get eventually. I kind of like, I kind of want to stick to the, the axe for now, but I will use that eventually because... One of the best uh, knives is that you get is, is really cool. And the, uh, the extra attack with that's really neat. Um, so you can also upgrade tools from this. But you can see I need a workbench number two in order to do that. 
Um, and one way to do that is actually to have another item close to your workbench. So if you see here, I have this chopping block. It says workbench improvement. So that's what you need to go to level two. Then also I, I have the tanning rack available and that was, that's because I, I actually hunted those deer. So I got those deer hide and like some more recipes. And that's, uh, that's that. A few more building things. I think we covered all this. Uh, actually, I can make, make a deer rug and that'll actually increase your comfort as well. So that you can see right here I have comfort four and every little everything in your house adds to comfort. So this fire will add to comfort. Having a bed adds to comfort. Having a shelter above your head adds to comfort. And if I was to add another, uh, that deer rug here, it actually adds up to comfort four and that gives you an extra minute. So I'd, up, I'd go up to a rest above of 12 minutes at that point. Uh, the bird wants to talk to me because actually I got raided. So you actually get raided during this game. It's pretty interesting. Um, we'll kind of sleep here and then I'll show you it. Um, yeah, you'll have, uh, it said, Ether rallies the creatures of the forest, and that's the actual next boss. And a bunch of boars and necks started coming and trying to kill me. It was actually really nice because I needed meat, so that's the reason why if, uh, if you see here I have all this meat here, is because those guys came to kill me and I just farmed them for meat, so pretty cool. But yeah, the bird should be around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. He's probably going to tell me about that raid. Oh no, okay, so you're telling me about the hoe. You've crafted a hoe. This tool is useful for landscaping. You could say it's the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the terrain. It is easier to create buildings on level ground, which is true. And you can see there is actually a deer back there too. Okay, oh, he's telling me the same thing. Okay, you're not going to go away. So, we're going to actually equip the bow number two. Like I said, we're going to go with the, that number one. We'd like to have the hoe in number eight. My shield would like to go four, so we'll go five there. Then we're going to go back here and drop off a few things. I want to get rid of this axe. This is kind of where I'm going to keep my old tools. And I need to craft some arrows too. So arrows are really cheap. Just uh, eight wood will actually give you 20, which is pretty cool. Craft up, like I don't know, 60 of those. That should be good for now. if I can actually kill a there's a deer there so before I was actually just sneaking up on these guys that's how I was killing them before so one thing to note the arrow drop is massive on this on the bow if you do not uh, if you don't aim high you, you will not hit I mean you can see let's just shoot one here see if you guys can see how I'm shooting there and that mat that's that was huge like I was shooting here and it went way down yeah, that's, it's huge. So make sure you kind of compensate for that. You kind of get used to it as you go on, the more you do it. And also as you upgrade your bows too, it'll be a little better and better. So yeah, pretty cool. And let's see. So actually what I think I'm going to do is I'll show you guys the hoe real quick. And this is what, so see how I have this grass inside my house here? I don't actually like that at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to destroy my bed. I'm going to destroy these paths here, or I'm sorry, not these paths, but all the, all this wooden floors. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and clear those too. And then if we go to the hoe, you can say I can level ground, and I can also raise ground, I can also at pa uh, path in. So level ground levels uh, where you're standing at, so if I'm standing right here, it'll let me level the ground to where I'm, where this actual, where I'm actually at. So if I was to just level this, it'll actually just level. Um, and you can see it kind of levels it out here. Maybe a little bit. It can only do so much though, so it'll try to uh, change the terrain, but there's you can only do it to a certain point. Eventually, you're going to have to use a different tool in order to, to level it. So the only cost you have here is just some stamina. Then kind of go around here and kind of level around where you want to build at. You can see there it's starting to raise the ground. Where that uh, that stone is there but yeah i just kind of want to go around and level it out then uh a little bit more of a level surface see it kind of has it here we're kind of getting a little bit of where it's not able to do much um it's trying but it just it can't manipulate the terrain too much if you want to raise it there's another feature on the hoe um to raise terrain but it actually costs stone to do that so yeah it's kind of a a lot of stone to to kind of move the terrain now one thing you can do if you come close to an edge here you can raise it up to where you're at 
like that and then you don't have to use so much stone if you actually go down and you try raising it it's not as good so try to come to like the edge where you're at and raise it from there rather than going to the ground and trying to raise it from that point if you do that kind of like down here it only raises it so much and it'll cost you like a ton of stone but if you come to the edge like here and then move over it'll uh it won't cost you as much so like here if i was to come here actually we need to go on here I was to come over here and do it, it just kind of raises it up. I can't do it anymore, but yeah, I'd be able to raise it up to where I'm at there. And the other thing is with the hoe, it, you can use this, I should call the path in feature, which is cool. So basically this just, it keeps the terrain the same and just gets rid of the grass. I can go around here and I can actually get rid of the grass, but actually keep the terrain the same, same kind of terrain. And this is what I use in these houses to kind of, um, Get rid of the grass, like I was talking about earlier. So most of it's already gone, which is nice. I can kind of clean it up here. And then go ahead and put those uh, wood floors back here. I think it was pointing that way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really, truly enjoying this game. This game is... I'm typically a Minecrafter, and uh, I tell you what, this game has really taken a lot of my time, and uh, it's been enjoyable. This is going to be difficult. I'm going to break that, put it over here, and then put it back. That's the only thing that gets kind of annoying in this game is like back and forth with uh, with doing those different things. But not too bad. You kind of used to it as it goes on. All right, so we're good there. That, put it back over here. I actually probably have to move this eventually so that we can get the upgrades. May actually want to move it over there right now. Not a bad idea. Then we can put the upgrades kind of around it. Then I can probably fit my bed in right here. Yeah, perfect. Squeeze it right on in there. So one thing, you always want to claim the bed. And that sets your spawn. And then you can sleep too as well. You can only sleep when it's nighttime, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Alright. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do some resource gathering. So you're, I'm just going to go kill some deer, some boar, find some more flint, and kind of build up resources. Just kind of wanted to do a little bit of crafting with you guys before I started doing all that. So I think that's uh, in with that. I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. Thanks. All right. So I'm back from collecting resources. Got quite a bit of resources while we're out there. I, as you can see here, got six deer trophies now. Uh, a few more things. We got a lot of meat. Yeah, we really kind of went on a rampage there and, and got a ton more meat. Some more berries, some mushrooms, uh, a few more necktails. Uh, 23 deer hides, so that'd be good. Got some leather scraps from killing the boar. I did find some bone fragments, so I was walking around, found this like little, uh, almost like crypt looking area, but it was it was in the meadows. It wasn't in the black forest, but yeah, I had a, just one thing of bones next to it, so I took that. Tons of wood, so I did a lot of tree chopping. And then I got a bunch of flints as well. So I think what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna upgrade the workbench to the next level. So to do that, we need uh, tin flint. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And to split stack, so if you ever wanna split something, just hold shift, click, you can split, and then you can go take it down to what you need. I need tin, and take that. If you control click, so if I take this stone here and control click it, it'll move the entire stack, so. A little opposite from Minecraft. Minecraft usually use shift click to move stuff, so it's kind of a lot for me to get used to there. <laughs> but there's that, so we'll go ahead and bring out our hammer here. Select our chopping block, and let's go ahead and put it right here. It just has to be kind of close to the uh, workbench here. You see doing that, we actually unlocked a few recipes there. Looks like we unlocked uh, leather, so that's good because I actually want to unlock leather clothes. Next thing I'd like to do is actually upgrade this straight to level three. So to do that, we need the tanning rack. And you can see down there, we need 15 flint, 10 wood, 20 leather scraps, uh, 5 deer hide, and a workbench. So we'll go ahead and collect that here. I can remember where everything's at. So we need 20 of these. 5 of these. Uh, 10 wood. And I think it was 15 flint, I do believe. Let's take that 18 there. And we can uh, make the tanning rack here. So it looks pretty cool. And that'll upgrade to a level three. So it doesn't unlock any more recipes when you do that, but you can kind of see and see if it's connected. You'll see this little like glowy bits there going to it. Uh, I can repair, let's see. So I actually want to make some leather pants here. So leather tunic, leather pants. 
And I'd like to make the leather helmet. I probably will make the leather helmet first because I don't have any helmet armor. And I'll do the pants first as well. What else do I need? Actually, let me check here. I just want to see what else I need to use that leather for so I don't end up not using it. So the hide cape, I don't have enough bones for that. So it looks like, yeah, I just, I'll just use it on uh, those. There. Unless I have some other recipes in here. Let me check real quick. We are going to make that. It looks like other than the deer rug, I should be able to use all of my deer hide here. So let's go ahead and do that. Wrong chest. Jeez. All right, so we got 18. So I think that's actually perfect because I want to make all three of these items. And I believe it's going to take six each. And there we go. So once you have that, you can actually equip it by just right clicking on it. Let's see, equipping the leather tunic. And you can actually do all those at the same time and over equip, equip them as well. So I like to have my gear over here. Which one's that? Leather pants down there, leather tunic there. There we go. And even though that, yeah, looking pretty cool. Got nice leather armor going on. You can see your defense here, so I have a defense of 6, and that's by adding all three of these together. So you can see armor rating there is, of two, is 2, and re repair station level is 2 as well. So one thing about that is if you have something that's a level 2, if you just craft a regular workbench, which I probably don't have any wood right now. There we go. Um, it won't actually let you repair that. You'll have to have the level 2 to be able to repair it. So I set this down here. Oh, I need a roof. All right, we'll show that another time. But basically, best way to do it, I will just remove these and bring it down to level one. And if I do that, it will not let me upgrade this anymore or repair it. Go to repair. It won't let me repair it unless I have the level two. So I'm going to go ahead and put those back. And yeah, we're looking looking pretty cool. Got the leather armor on. So I think now we're going to do a little bit of exploring. I did explore the map a little bit. As you can see, I kind of found where there is, the boss. Marked a few things off. There's a boar stone there, and there's a village here, and I can show you all those. Stones are over here, and there's another boar stone. I did run into some black for or dark forest down here. And actually, uh, I thought I could... I, didn't, I was trying to avoid that because you get kind of a little marker on your screen when you go into it. And I was trying to avoid actually going in there so that you guys could see that, but I accidentally... I think I went, I was in, thought I was in the meadows and I ended up touching it, so. So it showed me the different biome. But the last thing we're going to do here before we take off is I want to build this beehive here. But what I'd like to do though first is uh, kind of put one of these down. And then I like to put the beehive on top of it. Just, to me, it makes it look a little better. And if you can get it on top of here, like that, I just think that looks a little better. You can check it and you can see the bees are happy which is fantastic. We want the bees to be happy. And uh, yeah, it'll slowly it'll start producing honey here, which is a really, really good resource to have. And then the last thing we're gonna make is on this fire, you can actually make what's called uh, cooking stations. And you can fit, if I remember correctly, five on here. Now I only like to do four because what happens is you, you start to get to a point where you can't actually reach the fire to put more wood in it. And, and I don't like that. So I'm going to, if I can get this lined up here. Oh, I might just need to put it there. That one kind of sank down there for some reason. But if you put a bunch of these in here, what you'll notice is that it's hard to reach to reach in there to, like now I, I can barely see the fire to refuel it. Um, I can see it right there, just it. So just try to, if you do put a bunch of these on there, just make sure that you leave you some spacing, put fire on there still, or wood on the fire still. Then I'm actually gonna go ahead and cook some meat here. So to cook the meat, you just uh, go up to the cooking stand and press E, and it'll put your meat on the fire. And there I can do 10 at a time, which is nice. Now, the one thing that uh, you need to know here is these will cook. However, once they make another sizzling sound, they're ready to go. After, If you wait again and leave them on here, they'll actually turn into coal. It'll burn them. So kind of want to sit by and watch them. Uh, it's pretty a pretty good audible noise to hear whenever they're done. So there it is right there. 
you can take them off and then you just get your hook made. Get all that. Uh, I can put my more on here. And that should be all of it. So I got 10 cooked meat here, which is nice because we're going to go ahead and diversify this food here. And I wish I had honey, but that should be gathering. We do have a few necktail. I think I might actually cook some of those up as well. We should have no more meat. We should just have... Okay, there's another piece of meat up there. Should have 20 meat now? 19. Oh, this one back there. There we go. Yeah, you want to make sure you get all your meat so you don't burn it. I'll go ahead and get these neck tails off here, and then I think that'll be good for now. Now, see, the only problem here is I have no idea where these went. Did I get all those? Yeah, I got all five. Okay. Go ahead and put this old leather in here. Always like to have a little bit of wood on me. More than 10, just in case you gotta build a crafting bench. The flint away. And yeah, we're going to do a little bit of exploring here. I'll kind of go down and show you all where Eek there is. And uh, possibly look to fight the next boss. I would like to find a few deer. Uh, first, because I would actually like to upgrade my bow first before we do that. And I think if I was to go to this. So I'm going to need one deer hide, which is not too bad. I have the other scraps there. So I'll try to get uh, see if I can just kill one deer out here. On, my, on our travels and get that done but yeah otherwise this game has been pretty good there's some neck there uh really really enjoying it let's go ahead and eat and uh this had, it had a great experience overall was that a deer no those are boar probably killed those in those guys anyway now you can't actually tame these boar once you start to unlock, yeah, actually I could do it now if I wanted to, you can use mushrooms and uh, to tame them. There's two things you gotta worry about. Uh, you the player can't be too close to them when they're trying to be tamed, and then you can't, you also can't have a fire near them because that'll frighten them. So you just need to place food on the ground by throwing out your inventory, like so if I was to do this, that'd be just fine. Just make sure it's in a crafting bench radius, so that way it doesn't despawn. And then your, it'll, your boars will slowly eat it, and then they'll eventually they'll become tamed. I think it takes a few in-game days for that to happen. Uh, and then yeah, you'll have some pretty you'll have some boars. So oh, I'm running off here. So we're gonna head straight up here. See if we can find Eek there. And see if we can see a deer up here. Oh, I hear some. Right, sneak. So something must see me. <laughs> it sees me, but I don't see it. So I don't know where it's at. Oh, there's a grayling here. Go ahead and get rid of this guy. Now earlier when I was talking to you guys about the berry bushes, so the reason I was saying that it kind of sucks. That they take damage is like you're trying to kill this guy here and you, you can see I hit that berry bush there or that bush and it'll actually destroy your bushes your berry bushes and they don't respawn so it kind of sucks so kind of be careful if you see some around you when you're going to fight uh, you could end up destroying them by accident what is that not a deer let's see that's the only thing that sucks about these woods here is it's just to be a little difficult to see deer and of course I'm recording YouTube, so that makes it even more difficult to see because you get uh, what's called YouTube brain and it makes it really difficult to see see things that you guys will probably see on the screen like, wow, you just, he just passed like 45 deer and I wouldn't see any, any, any one of them. So this is the altar for the first boss. And if you go here, you can, I can talk to Hugin. It says, calling forth the beast. You have found one in the summoning place of, of one of the forsaken. Make the correct offering at their altar and they will come. Be wary though, the Forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, and eat a hearty meal before before engaging them in combat. Alright, so... And if you go over here, you can see this, runestone, if you read it, it'll tell you what you need to find. So it says, hunt his kin. As you can see, it's showing a little deer there. So what it, what it means is you actually need uh, deer trophies. So if you kill deer, you'll get deer trophies. And I showed that to you guys earlier with the boar trophies. And uh, yeah, that's what you need. If you get, if you go ahead and get two of those, you can offer that to Eek there, and you can get uh, summon him up, which we are going to do here after I upgrade this bow. Just wanted to kind of do a little bit of hunting with you guys and kind of show you the terrain. 
There's a few mushrooms. So these are kind of harder to see, but you can kind of see them on the ground as you run around. Little red spots. All right. Where can I find a deer at? The thing that sucks is with these uh, wooded forests is literally you will see them once you come up on them and they'll run away from you. So you kind of got to watch out a little bit and try to spot them before they spot you. A little opener air. Oh, I think I see one. Nope, that was a branch. All right. So let me run around here a bit. Um, oh, here's another, I think there's another boar stone. There might be another lore. Where the grass grows underfoot and the sky is blue overhead, there will always be a hearth and home. Earth and home, I should say. But yeah, the, this, the game's mechanics overall, it's been really enjoyable. The building mechanics are really fun. I think, I think, I know I said last episode we're gonna build. I kind of want to do the first boss first, but definitely next episode we're going to try to get more of a starter house going. And that'll really help with, uh... oh, so this is that thing I was telling you about earlier with where I found those bones at was under one of these. So it looks like a little like crypt, I guess, gravestone or something. But yeah, there's actually a set of bones just sitting right underneath it. So I want to pick those up. Lots of berries. Don't forget your berries. Let's see. I can't believe I haven't seen a single deer yet. This is kind of <laughs> terrible luck on my part. Just the lovely, lovely RNG. So there's another pre-built. I don't think... Oh, was that a deer over there? Oh, there's two deer. Okay. All right. So we're going to kill this guy. And we're going to sneak over there and we're going to get those deer. Might shoot him so I don't have to worry about him trying to come over here. All right. So let's sneak. And let's see if we can take out these deer here. Hopefully they don't see me. Now your stamina does run down as you do this. Okay, perfect, here we go. And that other one will probably run off because he probably got scared from the other guy. Oh no, he's over there. Okay, let's try to get him as well. Like I said, so if you sneak, you can see my stamina is kind of running down, but my sneak skills goes up, so that's kind of nice. But we're gonna just come in here. And try to get him. And then we're gonna try this one too since we're here. All right, so there we go. Three deer. I think that guy actually gave me a deer trophy as well. All right, so that's what we needed. So we're gonna run, I'm gonna run back to the house here. And I will uh, see y'all back at the house. All right, so we're back. We made it back to the house here. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade this bow, and I also want to upgrade my shield as well, so we'll go ahead and grab some resin for that. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm sleeping because I clicked on my bed. All right, so we'll sleep through the night first here. I kind of wanted to wait till after I craft everything to sleep so we can have a nice, good day for fighting the boss. But here we go. All right. So I'll go over here, and so now I can go to this repair, and you can see I repair the, all my stuff there. And to upgrade, I need five wood, four leather scraps, and one deer hide. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade. That's level two. And yeah, we're gonna we'll just go ahead and go up straight to level three. Actually, that's that's pretty good. And then for the shield, you can see I just need uh, some wood and some resin. So get a little bit of resin here. I actually want to try to make some arrows as well. Get a little more wood. That should be good. Upgrade the shield. Oh, I can go to level three on that as well. Perfect. So you can see the rest of the stuff like this you need bones for. Uh, this I need some more flint. I can upgrade the flint axe if I'd like to. Bow I can go up to level four, but we need a level four crafting bench. And we can upgrade this again. You need some more bones for. And this is your max quality. So once you get to the max of what you can upgrade, that's what you'll see there. Uh, I also want to make some fire arrows so we're gonna go ahead and do a few of those you can only make one 20 of them which is fine the rest we'll just make wood arrows with kind of get to 100 just to be on the safe side are these not wood arrows oh they're flint head arrows okay 
Well, I'll make 60 regular arrows, and that will be way more than enough um, arrows that we'll need for this fight. Go ahead and put away that and that, and that and that. And I do want to grab some honey. Oh, do not free your beer, your uh, your deer trophies. I have done that before. No, it's not fun. I might fight the boss more than once. We'll see here. I haven't decided yet. I have one honey, so that'll I'm gonna use that for the start of the fight. And yeah, let's uh, let's run back over and and get this first boss wiped out. Hopefully, you don't die a thousand times. We'll see. And then after that, uh, I may we may go to the dark forest. I'm not quite sure how long this will take here, but this video is kind of getting on the long side, so we'll uh, we'll go check it out here, see see how long it takes to fight him. And, and I might fight him more than once. I'm not quite sure yet if I if I really want to or not. I just heard a deer. I think I just scared them off. Yeah. So the deer they kind of respawn in the same areas, and actually if you scare them away, they'll actually come back to where they originally were. So like if I was to go away and kind of hide out, they'd come back over here. So this, so you can kind of know if you mark a place for them. Typically you can find them again over there. And this first boss, if you haven't seen it yet, looks absolutely incredible. So definitely something to look forward to. And uh, yeah, really excited. Hope you guys are excited. And in this armor, just having level one, I mean, you're fine. You can upgrade to level two if you want. But uh, again, I mean, you're totally fine. So like I said, it's the deer trophies here that you want to use. So if you just come up to this and you press seven, you make the sacrifice, you get a really shaky screen. Now wherever those uh, shiny bits are, that's where he's gonna spawn at. So you can see I'm gonna equip my fire arrows. He's gonna spawn right over there. And and there he is, just looking like an absolute beast. And he's mad at me. So yeah, just kinda kite him around, shoot him with fire arrows. As you can see that this level three bow just just annihilates him. I mean it's it's not it's just not even fair. I might even, I'm not sure yet, but, oh, okay, oh, I forgot to eat, okay, so don't forget to eat, pro tip, he will kill me if I don't eat, if I, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and eat there, I forgot to eat the honey, but that's okay, yeah, don't forget to eat, that's, uh, that'll definitely, that'll definitely get you killed, that's happened to me before where I get excited on a fight, totally forget to eat, and I uh, get absolutely wrecked, so, Keep shooting him here. He's probably gonna do a lot of damage. Not too bad. Like I said, just keep kiting him. That grayling's being ridiculous. So we'll go ahead and run over here. See if I can just dodge him a little bit. Try to hold up stamina and just kind of run around. Run, run away from him. I wonder if I can actually. I might be able to at least block and attack him. I don't know. We're not. I'm not quite sure yet. Just kind of run around. He'll come at you. Just kind of run. So yeah, he did that. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Hey, get out of here. Oh, he did a little bit of damage, but again, if you have if you upgrade as much as I did, I mean you're gonna have no problems here. He's he's not even a problem. He might try to hit me there. And the biggest thing is just stamina. I mean right there I just ran out of stamina, just trying to run around here and And his his health I mean is like I said, is just flying down. So I kinda run around here. I think once I get him low enough, I'm just going to go straight in and just start meleeing him. See, that even did, I mean, he hit me almost direct on, didn't even do that much. Yeah, again, here he's going to try to hit me. Didn't even affect me. And I didn't even eat all my good food. I, I, I should have eaten my necktail, and I totally ate raspberries in the panic. Alright, let's just get him down here. I must be using the flint head arrows now. He's not on fire anymore. Again, he just attacked me there, really didn't do much. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just press four, one. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna, we're gonna melee this guy, or parry this guy. Oh yeah, I totally parried him, totally parried him. And there he is, there is Eek there, down, down for the count. Maybe he'll give me some stuff. Oh yeah, all right, so we got hard antler, we had his trophy. Just right there, and uh, we unlocked, looks like, the pickaxe. So, yeah, uh, that was him. I think I might actually fight him a few more times here. Oh, let's talk to the bird first. Then I'm going to fight him a few more times. Congratulations, warrior. Return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. So, we're going to 
I'll fight him a few more times here, and then we're going to go do that. And then I think that'll go ahead and end the episode. So go ahead and uh, offer him up again here. All right, so I went ahead and fought the boss three more times. I was able to get uh, 12 of these hard antlers, got four of his heads, and yeah, I almost used every single one of my arrows, got down to 18. Not bad at all. I'll, I actually almost used my durability as well on my bow, so he's not bad at all if you prepare. I mean, I, I literally didn't, didn't even come close to dying once. As soon as he would hit me, he did like eight damage. I was doing 30 damage uh, to him every with every shot from the flint head arrows, I think it was. I think these are just the wooden ones. You had the flint head arrows, and those are pretty good, so. As long as you go exploring, you'll find those flint head arrows kind of in chests and stuff. And use that for your first boss battle. Literally, level 2, I mean, I had a level 3 bow, but even level 2 bow, he's really easy to handle, so no issues there. But as long as you prepare, I mean, having that leather armor, just going to find those deer and really preparing for that really helped out. So, now we're back at the stones here, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to offer this uh, trophy. And see what happens. Let's see, I want to go to this one up here. The nice thing is you only have to add for one, you can keep the rest of them. So we'll go ahead and hit seven, All right? There we go. So there he is, we've offered his head. And this guy's gonna come over and try to mess with me again because that's what these guys do all the time, every day. That's what they love to do. So that's pretty cool, you know, see it's all like, he's been sacrificed. Uh, you can see Hugan wants to talk now. You've been granted the power of eek there. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the lands, and cover their lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits. So Elder's the next boss. You can see that's kind of a portrait of him there. And these are all like portraits of all the bosses. So that's the third boss. That's the fourth boss. And then there's there's the fifth boss. Now there are going to add... I think they said there's going to be nine bosses at the end. I might be wrong. There might only be four. Or seven, sorry. But there's another bomb coming to Mist Lands. And then... Uh, there's some other biomes as well. One's called the Deep North, and then one's called the Ashlands that are in the game, but they don't have much in them right now. So with that, you just go over to this uh, trophy here. You press E to activate the power, and you'll see I'll get uh, I'll get the power there. And down the bottom here, you can see this power is ready. Now if you go ahead and use that with F, you'll get the power eat there. Now it lasts for five minutes. As you can see here, and it has a cooldown of 15 minutes, so well, I guess 20 minutes, but five of us are using it. So you'll you have the power for, for five minutes, you'll have a 15 minute cooldown before you can use it again. And yeah, with this, it's pretty awesome. If you watch my stamina, I won't go ahead and eat everything. We're gonna run back to the house here. I'll mark that. 
Oh, to ping also, just do a, on your map, do a middle mouse wheel. And click, and that'll ping. And you can see on your map. And if you see if I run back here, like, it's taking no stamina. I could literally run for days. And, uh, and same thing with jumping. I mean, jumping does a little bit. But, uh, nothing like what it was before. I mean, I, you could literally, with this, you could, like, outrun deer and stuff. So, it's pretty nice. I've, I've ran behind deer, and I've actually, oh, like, there's a deer there. He's a little easy, because he ran right up to me, but, uh. Yeah, you could, you could, uh, it's really helpful if you're trying to find deer and, and they run off from you and you're, you can just kind of run up right to them. Yeah, we'll go ahead and ping that again. And get away from this boar that's being annoying. And, uh, just run back home and I think once we get back there that's gonna end it for today. But, uh, yeah. It's, you can see that stamina, I mean, it's just, I almost, I've almost ran in the entire way home and it has a it's barely went down, so it just barely takes any stamina. Especially if you eat a lot of good foods, you'll you'll charge your stamina bar up all the way. You see, I ran all the way from the stones to there on that stamina. Wow, this guy's still following me. He really wants to die. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're not gonna play these games anymore. Thank you. But yeah, that power is is really nice, especially for exploring. If you're gonna go. And explore around, definitely good to have the power. I, in my opinion, it's one of the better powers um, to have. The bees are happy. So with that, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Thanks for coming out. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you all later. Thanks.